Hi, I'm Dominique Baker. I'm Giovanni Glover. And we are here at the 18th annual A New Way of Life Gala, where the theme is passing the torch, reigniting the spirit of leadership. And we have the pleasure today of honoring Ms. Susan Burton, founder of New Way of Life, in addition to honoring members of New Way of Life Free Entry Program and members of the community who have gone above and beyond the call of duty to help these women regain their lives. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Yeah, me too, me too. Stay tuned for our red carpet interviews as well as behind the scenes features. <laughs> most about millennials is that you guys are more entrepreneurial than we were or than I was when I was young. It, for me it was like you go to school, get an education, you become a doctor, you become a lawyer, you, you know what I mean? You That was what our parents taught us. You have to do that. But these young kids today, they are like creating these businesses and, it's, and I buy so much stuff off Instagram. <laughs> I do it all but I just and that to me is just like the most, um, one of the most admirable things and, and encouraging things about young videos today. So you guys keep doing what you do. As young people, um, we we become disenchanted and we become confused. So what would be your message to the young folk uh, that don't know what to do, that kind of need some guidance, and they want to challenge like our current system of police and incarceration? You mean that don't know what to do? They don't that, know what to do. Wow. I mean, I think that. It's important for young people to um, just sort of to educate themselves on what has ha happened in the past history. So, because for me, I mean personally, I feel like um, history has a chance of repeating itself. When you think about what's going on in history right now, it's very sort of parallel what we went through so many years ago, or actually not that many years yeah, ago. And so, I always felt like the reason why things sort of repeat itself is because people don't necessarily discuss it or they feel like oh that happened to my grandparents or that happened to my you know so I feel like as young people you have to educate yourselves about what your history because we don't get taught that in our schools so it's important to you know to read and, and to be educated and um, and and if you can find a mentor somebody that's gonna that can look up that you can look up to or young people can look up to that can really help them and encourage them to um, you know to just try to be better to you know better human beings now 13th the documentary yes. everybody loved it yes I'm sure you fit within that category yes what was how did you feel at the end of it um, wow, I, I think I felt a little, I think most people like, well for me, I was I was a little disheartened because there was a lot of knowledge that I didn't necessarily know, you know, I was ignorant and didn't know and um, I hate not knowing, I'm, I'm just like some of those millennials, not knowing where, how certain um, uh, issues or, you know, what stemmed and, and how it progressed and so I was just a little, just saddened for myself because I didn't know right. and to find out that way um, it's just you know it was weird as a black woman it was weird finding out about your history on a documentary right well, <laughs> so what do you do when you feel like that like um educate myself right. oh, it's all about education yeah, all about yeah 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 it's about knowledge because knowledge is key you know it's you have to you have to know about it so you can preach about it and you can talk to these young people about it so they can continue to talk about it and it, it never dies down because if it's once it starts dying down then it has the chance to again to repeat itself well that's all folks thanks for tuning in make sure you tune in this sunday for soul food sundays live at five to get more young voices making choices thank you